financial markets have started 2024 strongly, but risks remain to the outlook. Markets have risen this year on enthusiasm for AI, potential rate cuts in the US and Europe, and reflation in Japan. Together with stimulus hopes in China and strong growth in India, optimism has pushed equity indices in US, Europe, Japan and India to new all-time highs. But risks remain to the outlook. The UK and Germany are in recession as inflation hurts consumption. Sticky inflation is also preventing early interest rate cuts, causing bond yields to rise this year. The wars in Ukraine and the Middle East may still broaden. We could see sharp shifts in financial markets ahead of November's US presidential elections. We think investors should thus maintain a moderate overweight stance to risk assets. In the US, we expect the Federal Reserve will cut interest rates from June. Since the start of 2024, market expectations have fallen from six rate reductions towards our view of three cuts. 10-year Treasury yields have retraced from 3.75% at the end of 2023 to around 4.3% now. But with the Fed intent on lowering rates from the summer, we think fixed income assets will rally again. We thus recommend staying overweight US Treasuries and developed market investment grade bonds. We forecast 10-year Treasury yields will fall back to last year's lows of 3.25% and prefer high-quality bonds given our concerns the US may suffer recession still. In Europe, we maintain a neutral stance. Economic growth should start to recover this year, but the European Central Bank and Bank of England are unlikely to cut interest rates quickly while inflation stays well above their 2% targets. In China, we also maintain a neutral stance. Economic growth is likely to remain subdued around 5% this year in the absence of major fiscal stimulus, property market stabilization, and better relations with the US. But valuations have become very undemanding across domestic markets. Last, we recommend staying overweight Japan's equities. The return of inflation makes it likely the Bank of Japan will end negative interest rates in April. But the dovish central bank is set to keep interest rates very low for the rest of 2024. I'm Jean Chia, and this is Bank of Singapore Research. For more information, please refer to this month's monthly investment guide.